Hey there guys, Monk7Mad here, and today we're going to be continuing from yesterday's little bit of work in Cinema 4D. Now we made a Cinema 4D intro, and I also showed you how to use the basics of Cinema 4D. And I said today I'd take it into After Effects. Now when I went to take it into After Effects to uh, try out some of these experiments with it, I noticed that the white background wasn't working with some of the effects that I wanted to show you, or the actual style that I was going with. So what I've done is... I've made another file, this is in the link in the description, all I've done is I've changed it so that there's now black sky as opposed to it being clear and white, and I've added two soft boxes, and soft boxes are basically two sheets which are light sources, they're extremely hard to get hold of, unless you make them yourself or, or something like that, you can't really find, too, well the, when I looked there wasn't too many people that were giving them out, but um, yeah, so that's in the description, so you can feel free to download it. The effect, I'll just show you exactly what it looks like. It still looks exactly the same with materials and stuff on the text, so there's no worries about that. All the reflection, etc. is still there. So, what we'll do now is we'll take it into After Effects. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to File, Import, and File again. And this time we're going to go and find where you saved the video. For me, I saved it on my desktop. Cinema 4D Basic, and we'll just drag that down on the timeline. And by doing that, we automatically create our own composition. After Effects auto builds it around the video file that you've imported, which is nice. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to get this all done, dust fixed today. I've tried three or four different times to get this done, and I have constantly gone over the time limit, and it's just getting very, very aggravating. So, let's get on with it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a brightness and contrast. And I'm just going to turn the brightness down a little bit and the contrast up just a little bit. Just so that the uh, <clears throat> background is pure black and the text is a lot brighter. And I'm also going to drag in a hue and saturation. I probably should have changed the colour of the text in Cinema 4D. However, should you render it out with the colour like blue and you don't want a blue then you know it's still possible to change it inside After Effects. Another good reason for having a black background. Okay, that looks a little bit more orange than anything else, but um, that's it. Right, we're going to go sort of like uh, my basic intro in After Effects. If you didn't see that, you probably should check that out. That's quite useful. Right, we're going to add in some optical flares. and uh, That's going to be our main source. I think it's just constantly going to be optical flare work, but... Uh, going to be useful. So what we're going to do is we'll add in a adjustment layer, we'll rename it. We'll name this one Flare and we'll build another one and we'll call that Optic. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a a flare which moves across the text and we'll have a flare or well two flares that are actually in the background. So we're going to go down to video copilot optical flares drag that onto flare first off we'll get that sorted done first <clears throat> right and we're going to change the render mode from on black to over original and we're going to put this just off the screen here just beneath the text and we'll also take that to the other side of the screen and we're going to go options and we're going to change it to a custom preset not a custom preset sorry a preset that's been put in and we'll call we'll do the same one we did in my previous video we'll cool flare and we'll make it red and we'll take this glow off here because I don't really like that okay nice and now what we're going to do is we're going to turn that off for a minute and we're just going to go onto the optic layer and we'll bring optical flares onto that as well. This time the idea of this one is the background flare so what we'll do is we will go with the presets again and you have a choice of which one you choose. I mean you, you always have a choice of what you choose anyway but uh, there's a few which I'd probably suggest more than others and they are the rim light or the golden sun. I'm actually going to go with hmm, decisions, decisions. I'm going to go golden sun and change the global color 
to the same color as the text or whatever color you feel is the one you want to be using so we'll go with the red there and this glow in the middle let's just turn it uh, I don't know if it's turned down I'll just change the color a little Hmm. Uh, it doesn't matter we'll leave it white-ish and before we go anywhere we're actually going to make sure we click on this top global parameters box and we're going to go texture image and we're going to go either grime or messy it's up to you I am actually going to use the messy one and we're going to turn the brightness from 50 to 75 what that does is now you can probably see it a little bit better if I uh, clicked OK it would probably be easier to see now we've got these sort of little particles all over the screen which is really nice and we're going to change that from on black to over original again and we'll put that over here and we'll just uh, make it so that the red dot on the other side is just off the screen and we'll take this down a bit we don't want it to be completely clashing with the text we want it to be below the text at all points and what we'll do is we're gonna go through and modify the, uh, the flare I could say we could do it through a flicker but um, that involve another plugin so I'll do it without the flicker on this occasion and I'm going to do it in my really dumb simple minded manner which is where you just hit the brightness keyframe and you go forward a few frames and you just change the brightness and then you just sort of randomly click anywhere change the brightness up and down because it's just it's probably the simplest most effective way you can do it obviously the closer the keyframes the probably the nicer the effect but you don't want them to be too close you just sort of want them to uh, just to show out a little bit and what we'll do in a moment is we'll use the flare to sort of work as a, a transition for us because what we'll do is we'll get the the brightness and towards the end we'll just sort of push the brightness up a little bit and by doing that we're working as a sort of a fade out effect You just turn the brightness right up and if you put it about 50 it covers more or less half of the screen and you could go all that extreme and make it all white at the end by putting it just to the highest point like that but uh, that's, that's your call really I don't really want that keyframe there so I'm going to leave it there and what I'm going to do now is I am very simply going to duplicate the layer with control and D and now all we're going to do is click on the optical flare tab at the top and switch the location around the reason it looks so bright at the moment is because we're too far into the thing we're just going to go back the, down the timeline and we'll uh, just match it all up so, okay so let's have a quick look see how that looks it's going to be pretty slow to render because so, my computer just really doesn't like rendering so look at that 1.8 frames good god and when it's done this little mini render inside the software we'll just uh, replay it, it should be a little bit more speedy but uh, we, we still haven't finished yet so don't worry we're going to add in to go across here and we're also going to add in a blur alright we'll just uh, we'll stop it there and we'll see if it looks alright from here yeah it's looking good Okay, right now we're going to 
add a blur and sharpen so we'll do that first and then we'll do the flare to finish off so we're gonna go blur and sharpen and then we're gonna go lens blur we'll drag that onto make sure you're on the video layer because this is the video that we want to tweak Let's just close down all these options so I can actually see the lens blur now when you put the lens blur on you might notice the edges actually fade so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to one of the corners just expand it out a little just so it fills out the screen and I always like editing the keyframes down in the actual bottom half of the screen. If you want to do it up there, that's fine. But you're going to go to blur focal distance at the beginning, keyframe it. When it gets more or less curved in about here, you want to, um, you can either add another keyframe, <coughs> then skip forward a bit more, and then have that. 255 because that's where it comes clear but uh, how does that actually look I don't think that would look right somehow well this is painful I could actually go through on the keyframes quicker but uh, by making it blurred you got a really nice little effect there we could use magic bullet looks to enhance that but uh, I'm trying to stay away from additional plugins I'm just gonna try and keep any plugin that I'm using that's external and this is actually the optical flare yeah okay that's nice alright now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add something which is a stock image or stock footage and basically we're gonna I'll put the link to this in the description as well if you want the actual project file you'll have to let me know in the comment section just so I am aware and then you can just change it how you like uh, downloads right and it's atmosphere st from stock footage stock footage stock footage and we're just gonna drag that on and it's going to be smaller than the actual thing, and that's fine. What we'll do is we'll drag it along so it's about halfway. And then we're going to Control D, duplicate the layer. We'll move it across. Let's flip it around. About right. And we'll line it up. Bounce a couple up. Make sure we cover the whole screen, and now we're going to change the. Let's just move that across because that's not even. What we'll do is we will change the blend mode on both of these to screen, which will remove the black, and we'll leave the smoke. And we'll go opposite click blend mode, screen. The same thing on the other one, opposite blend mode, screen. Now we've got some smoke. If there's a white line, it's because the two are touching together. Go okay, just uh that'll do. And now we're gonna finish off with a flare. Let's have a look how we're doing for time. Yeah, okay, really pushing it. Alright, so we're just gonna get the flare. I'll do this really quick. Turn the flare back on. And we'll go effects, optical flares, position. And actually, we want the position at the start, of the keyframe. Actually, so look, it, where it, where it reaches about there, this is where we want it to move in. So we'll actually put a keyframe here as well. All right, so it goes to there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get it to go across by the time it hits there. So we will get the position of it, and we will uh, just move it across the entire screen, and we'll move it other half of the keyframe over there and then what we'll do is when it gets to <coughs> just after that we're gonna put in another keyframe we'll put it on brightness go one keyframe forward put in another keyframe turn the brightness down then go another keyframe turn the brightness off and that's it then you're just going to render it out and uh that's it so thanks for watching guys